Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back for another video. I hope you're all doing super well. Today's video is a little bit haphazard. It is a post lockdown kind of glow up video. I had a couple of things done this week that I just kind of recorded here and there and I thought I'd kind of accumulate into this sort of style of video. I actually end the video probably not looking as glam maybe as I look now. So this is actually post all of the um, things I've had done so you can kind of see a little bit better now. It was also kind of like, I spoke a little bit about how it wasn't just a transformation physically, but maybe a little bit more mentally for some of us. Some of us find these little things that we do, you know, our nails or our hair, make us feel better as a person, even if it doesn't really change that much outwardly about us. So I think that's more kind of what this video is about. But I'm really excited for you guys to see it and I hope you kind of enjoy. This video was supposed to go out sooner this week. I honestly cannot tell you the week I've had. It's just been a little bit mad in all the right ways. I have so many exciting things that I cannot wait to share with you. I'm sorry I'm doing that really annoying thing that YouTubers do and they're like, I got a project and I can't tell you about it. Basically, that's the situation. Couple of really exciting things, big things in my life that hopefully I can share with you as soon as I have a little bit more info. And I've just behind the scenes of that, it's just been very, very stressful, but hopefully things are going good now. So can't wait to tell you guys that stuff. I hope you do enjoy this video. Before I get into it, I will kind of leave a timestamp as to where the sort of like post lockdown glow up starts and I will put it in the description box if you just are here for that. I do want to touch a little bit on um, kind of like a girl chat here and I want to mention briefly my smear test that I recently went for. I did record a couple of clips, not of me actually during the event, but kind of like before and after and some vloggy clips which I will insert. The reason I want to put this at the beginning of the video is because I want people to just be aware right at the beginning um, and this be a little reminder for you rather than at the end if you don't end up watching my videos all the way through. If you have had your letter come through during lockdown and you have like kind of put off having your smear test, please let this be a reminder and a little like nag at you. If you have any questions about the whole experience, please just drop them below. I was contacted, I can't remember how many months before my 25th birthday. That's how it's done here in the UK. I know everywhere around the world does things differently. I did have the cervical um, injection when I was like 13 or something, the HPV vaccine. So I know that kind of tends to, they say, put you in good stead with regards to, um, you know, your cervical screenings later on. But that means that you get them at 25. I know a lot of girls don't go because they have this kind of like crazy stigma around it. And it's just so sad that society has kind of allowed us to feel any type of way about our own bodies. As women, we do incredible things and we should celebrate our bodies, I believe. So I just want this to be a reminder, like, please go. Don't feel insecure, don't feel uncomfortable, awkward. You know, at the end of the day, you're going to a medical professional. The point of this experience is to better yourself and make sure your health is number one. And this video is all good and well telling you ways to kind of glow up post lockdown. But at the end of the day, your health remains number one. Please prioritize yourself. I think particularly if you're in your 20s, you know, it's the time when you change, like your mum used to book your dentist and your doctor's appointments. Now you've got to start doing it yourself. You have to take your health in your own hands. So I just wanted to touch on this super quickly. I had a really fine experience. You know, I'm not going to say like I had a great experience because that would be a little bit strange, but it's absolutely fine. It's really not that uncomfortable. It lasts for like honestly less than 60 seconds um, and then you're done. You know, I did. I didn't actually vlog getting my results back, but just if anyone is wondering, I did get my results back. They're all fine. So um, I feel really good that I went. I feel like it's kind of, you know, cleared off of my con like my mind a little bit and it's one thing ticked off. And I just want this to be a little reminder for anyone out there that hasn't booked their cervical smear test to please go and get it done. Um, and don't forget about it because I was putting it off. I wasn't purposely putting it off. I was just very busy and everyone kind of uses that excuse, don't they? And then before you know it, you haven't gone. So please do make sure you go. If you have any specific questions about anything, leave them below, I'm more than happy to answer them for you guys. Any worries or queries about anything and I will do my absolute best. I'm not a medical professional, so I don't want to talk about this for too long because I am not the most knowledgeable and I would much rather have a nurse or a doctor with me to tell you a bit more, but I just know that it's, it's something you need to go do. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so much for watching as always. Sorry it's very scatty and all over the place. Wouldn't be a George May vlog though, would it? If it was a normal, cohesive, nice one. So enjoy, grab a cup of tea. Love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hey guys, so I'm on my way to my smear. I just thought I would film this for anyone that has forgotten to book theirs, like me. 
and hang on you know memento i would record this for anyone that has forgotten to book theirs i hope you can hear me over my engine i'm sorry it's so loud and needs a little bit of a reminder i forgot to book mine and i actually spoke to my doctor about something else and while i was on the phone to her she was like you haven't booked just near really happy that um she did that because i probably would have forgotten and probably wouldn't have gone i am kind of apprehensive i'm not gonna lie to you like i'm not normally one that gets sort of anxious or nervous about this kind of thing but i mean you know it's a legs akimbo so situation we'll <laughs> see how it goes typical me i've got no fuel in the car i'm running late so i'm gonna just try and make it there and see if i can make it there with the fuel that i've got honestly don't be me in these situations like just don't be me i'm just doing this to kind of encourage any women young women not even young whoever you are you know they've seen the thousand of them before please don't let you know the fear of that stop you from going and having it done it is life-saving potentially and really important so please go and get it done um if you've been called or if you haven't been called up look at these blocky brows i've got and that of course you ain't going to be looking at them so i think i'm all right but so i've watched um sabrina i'll link her video below sabrina actually filmed one of these a few years ago when she went for her first smear and i don't know i just found it super comforting um i really just like her energy and her vibe she's like very like nurturing i feel so maybe you're watching this and you're on the way to yours or yours is tomorrow please don't be nervous or anxious like every single woman has to go and have this done they seen a hundred of them i'm just rocking and rolling here i'm out <laughs> right let me give you the lowdown while i'm in my car because i feel like it's fresh in my mind first things first it is now 11 47 i rang the little intercom thing at like 11 33 i went in there at like maybe like 11.37. I was in the room with her for less than 10 minutes. We had a little chat at the beginning. Honestly, it takes like less than a minute. It took her like less than a minute. She was so nice. And I think that's just so important. Like hopefully whoever you go to will put you at ease. I mean, I couldn't tell you how nice she was. She was talking to me about Corona, about lockdown, what I'm gonna do after lockdown. We didn't, you know, she briefly said what she was doing. But honestly, it is a little bit uncomfortable. I'm not going to sit here and say it's like sitting down. It's a little bit uncomfortable, but it's it's honestly fine. Like, it really is not worth not going. Like, please just go and have it done. Like, it really is not that bad. She said to me as well, she's like, now your day can only get better. And she's so right. My day can only get better. Like, I've got it out the way. So, yeah, I don't really know what I'm here to say. I think I'm just here to say, like, if you're like me and you just kind of you didn't even purposely forget about it you just had other things going on please don't because it's so important and it really doesn't take that long and it's absolutely fine and she was the nicest woman so yeah so today's video is all about that post lockdown glow up life i'm getting treatments and things done throughout the week that i thought i would vlog with you guys um oh, sorry am i bothering you I would just vlog the week, keep you guys in the loop. I've had my nails done. Um, I've had, I'm gonna have my hair done today. So I thought I'd bring you all along to the salon, show you guys what I'm having done to my hair because I am having some extensions put back in, but a little bit shorter and a little bit more natural. So I'll show you guys that and I'll vlog that whole process. So I think that could be kind of fun. I've also got an in the style order that's gonna come today. I'm gonna show you what tanner I use. I'm gonna tint my brows. We're doing it all. We're getting glam to the nines. We're here, we're excited. And yeah, the reason I've got these headphones on and this mic is because I'm currently editing Sunday's video. So that's what I'm doing with the microphone. Hey guys, so I'm on my way to my hair appointment and I just thought before we go, I should probably, I'm gonna show you obviously my hair when we're in there, but in case I don't get a minute, in case we're chatting or something, I should probably show you guys my hair before. So I have had the color kind of refreshed, super, super natural, love it so much. I think it really just looks like it's actually grown out of my head, which is exactly what I wanted. So I am having my Beauty Works tapes installed. I will leave the colors that I get below. I bought these extensions myself. Um, I have worked with Beauty, well, I didn't even, no, I didn't work with them, sorry, it wasn't an ad. The last video I did, they gifted me some hair extensions, but yeah, I bought the extensions myself and I'm having three packs installed in two different colors, all with a blended root. I will show you guys all this stuff when we get to the salon, hopefully, but I just panicked in case I couldn't. Um, so I would show you guys my hair 
now but I'm really excited I'm really excited to sit in a salon chair and just relax I feel a little bit stressed this week I've just got a lot going on at the moment and I wish I could just tell you guys everything that's going on but I can't but when I can you'll be like mm, that's why you were stressed for two months so yeah um anyway I'm gonna be late I gotta go I love the colour though. Like these two colours are nice, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I've had my hair put in. Now we're just curling it. We use the same curler, which is really funny. Um, I will leave below the two colours that I have in my hair. So I have two different packets and I have tapes as well. But the colour match is always so, so nice. I went for a shorter set of extensions this time. I didn't go as long as I normally do. So we'll see. Uh, maybe I want to have some length put back in in a couple of months, but I'm so happy. So if anyone's wondering, this mask is Millie and Mitchell. I'll link the girl's uh, website below because she does the prettiest masks and they're all silk lined. So they're really nice. But yeah, I'm very happy. I'm just happy to have hair back. It feels very strange have hair. Also, it's so cute in here. Let me show you guys around. In St Albans, they've got loads of products. I actually use those products up there. They're the, I think, the Kerastase ones. I literally used that shampoo today on my hair, which is really funny. But we're loving the pink and gold theme. Look, also this mirror. Very cute. So everyone's going to think I'm crazy because I'm literally filming on the street, but I've got my hair all in. I'm so happy. She just used the Beauty Wax curler that I already have. Um, which is the Molly May colour, so it's a little bit longer, which is really nice. But I just feel like this looks really natural. Like, it looks like my hair, which is literally exactly what I wanted. The colour match is so good. Like I said, I will leave the colours below. I have my hair done by Izzy, so I'll link her Instagram below specifically. And um, I came to St Almonds. I'll show you guys the outside of the shop, so if you guys want to come here, then you can. If you do, let them know that I sent you. Um, but yeah, I think the colour's great. Like... The colour match is so nice and I think it literally just looks like my own hair. It doesn't look like it could be someone else's, if you know what I mean. So this is where I came. It's literally in St Albans. Um, and yeah, the girl I had was called Izzy. So that's what it looks like on the inside. It's really, really lovely in there. And I definitely recommend. She was so quick as well. She did my hair in like literally in less than an hour. So hair is done. I hope you guys can hear me. I just walked past my friend Summer. Hi Summer, if you're watching. She works in the Benefit next door. So if you're in this area, if you figure out where the hairdressers is and you want to come to Hertfordshire, um, come and see Summer as well, because she does really good brows and she's so talented. Um, so yeah, very happy. I'm now going to go and get some food because I am really, really hungry. And a coffee, a big coffee. Bye. Hey guys, so I'm finally home. So I feel like I can catch you all up a little bit. It's obviously really difficult to vlog when you're out and about because you've got masks on, you can barely hear what people are saying. Also, there was copyright music going on in there. So it's a bit annoying because I couldn't actually record, but I will obviously put the footage that I do have of today. I've just got home and I'm just so happy actually. I think the color looks lovely. I think the length is really great. I'm just so, so happy. And it was such a quick process. Like she literally installed the hair and curled my hair like that. Like I was in and out of there, which was so good because I've honestly just had so much on today. There's so much going on at the moment that I really wish I could tell you all about and talk about, but I can't at the moment. It's just taking up so much of my time as well. Um, and it's just honestly such a stressful situation, but I'm sure it will all come to fruition. It will be fine. Um, but it's just annoying because obviously I'm like, oh, I'm really stressed, but I can't explain why which is a bit annoying. I did pick up a couple of bits that I thought I would show you in this kind of vlog. I did pop into Space NK and I just grabbed a couple of products I already use that I just kind of wanted again in my life. Sorry, I thought she had forgotten to put them in there. So first is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in One Fair. Now I actually use this for underneath my eyes and I also use it as like my travel powder when I'm out and about. The packaging is gorgeous. It's one of my favorite powders. It's very finely milled. Uh, it's a beautiful, it's very, very light. That's why I only ever use it underneath my eyes. Beautiful powder. 
The only thing is, um, it's very expensive, like very expensive. I do really like it, I would recommend it, but if your budget doesn't stretch, don't break the bank buying it. You, you know what I mean? I'm sure there's something out there that's probably just as good, I just don't know about it. Um, but I do really enjoy that powder. So that's a product I love from Charlotte Tilbury that I just bought. And then I also bought the Hollywood Flawless Filter in shade four. This is a product that I've just run out of. I've had it for the longest time though. It lasted me forever. And I just think this is really nice for this kind of time of the year, like now and summer, because it creates such a dewy look to the skin, makes your skin look really natural. So that's why I like it for spring, summer in particular. So those are the bits I picked up. Have my hair done, feeling so happy. I am now gonna show, I'll probably look a little bit different from the start of this video. I am now gonna share with you guys my in the style parcel. So I actually bought all of these things myself. I think some of them will have to go back because of sizes. I didn't know what size to get. This is from Lorna Lux's, sorry, you can't hear me. Lorna Lux's collaboration within the style. Her collabs are my favorite that they, that they do. Her stuff is always so lovely and I did spend quite a lot of money on the site. So let's have a little look. Oh yeah, see that's what I think might have to go back. I got it in a 12 and I got it in a 10. So I got one of her little like kind of play suits. So I got both. I got one in white and one in this pattern. Got one in a 10 and one in a 12 because I have no idea what size I'm going to be. So this is what they look like. I mean, they look absolutely gorgeous. They have this kind of like bubble bit around the short. So it almost looks like a skirt. Really, really love the look of this. I love the pattern of it. The only thing is it does look a little bit short. And that was why I also ordered it in white, but I got it in a 12. Way I'm going to put on the screen now um a reel that i've made of all this stuff so if you follow me on instagram you would have probably seen this because i've actually made an instagram reel of me actually trying everything on so just think that's better for you guys so then i also picked up this which is the chiffon kind of shirt i grabbed this in a 10 this looks lovely actually i'm tempted to wear this tomorrow oh this is really nice Oh, I'm so happy actually. Sorry, I wasn't sure what this was gonna be like, but I really like the look of this. I needed just a plain white kind of blouse. So good for this time of year. So good with jeans and a blazer. The most simple, easy outfit, but I really like how like just chic it looks and clean. This is a little dress that I just thought was gorgeous. So it's quite high necked. Again, it's that lovely print that she's come out with, kind of like a paisley blue print. By the way, if you wanted to see a glow up, I'm really sorry, this is turning into a haul tends to happen with 80% of my content. Got this little bralette because the color was just divine. It really was. This is the little bralette. Oh my gosh, this is stunning. Okay, definitely gonna keep this. And I wanted this to go underneath that little shirt that I just showed you guys from before, but it's a little, basically sheer lace bralette. So pretty, I got this in a 10. And the cup size on this actually looks really good. It doesn't look too small at all. Love this. See, this is the kind of thing I love from free people and places like that, but the price point I just cannot justify. This I can justify. So I'm very happy with that. This looks so nice. Okay, this was one of the items I was very, very excited about. So it's all lace and it has these big kind of billowy lacy sleeves. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm very happy with this. That is so lovely. I got it in 10. She did a top similar to this. Was it last winter? I wore it in Venice and it was like a very big white kind of shirt with like a big neckline. It was very dramatic and I absolutely loved it. But this is so nice. This is kind of like a lace. I, I really, really like this. It looks so expensive. And then to go with that, I actually did grab this little skirt. Kind of like a little flippy white. I just thought it'd go with so many things. It didn't necessarily have to go with her collection. Got that in a 10. And that's everything that I got. Again, there will be a reel on my Instagram if you guys want to see those pieces in a bit more detail. If you've all been having a lovely week, I will check in with you all tonight. Hello vlog, I hope you're doing well. I'm going to start off by apologising. I think this has been another one of my regular vlogs where it's chopping and changing and chaos and not consistent. And I promise I'm going to get better on that. That's a little bit of a resolution. For the next couple of months, I need to get better with my vlogs and not making them so kind of scatty. But I think it's just since lockdown's kind of been lifted, I feel like I've been here, there and everywhere. Um, just trying to book in treatments and have like fun things in booked in so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video so far I'm actually going to be kind of finishing it off here and telling you about the last thing that I've had done this week which has been the best I'm so happy about it is a facial now this was kind of something that I didn't plan on booking in until super last minute 
So I'll give you a bit of background on that. I am going to be looking at my phone because the girl that did the facial actually knows obviously what she was doing. And um, I'm going to read from her perspective because she is more knowledgeable on what actually I had done. Now, for anyone that has been a follower of my channel for a while, you know, I rarely come on camera without makeup. It honestly happens like once in a blue moon and I always comment on it before I do because I'm just super insecure about my skin. Um, I have mentioned it previously, but I have been on tablets and cream for my skin, which I'm not, I'm not taking the tablets at the moment. Uh, I might come back to them, but at the moment I'm not. I am still using the cream, but it's quite strong, so I haven't been using it the past week or so. I just... Yeah, I'm just a little bit insecure about my skin. I think Instagram makes you guys think and everyone think that nobody has pores, texture, spots, scars, um, anything on their face. Um, because, you know, we are all guilty of loving a filter, using a filter or just a face tune. But in this little lockdown post glow up type vlog, I did treat myself to a facial. I'll start off by telling you who I went to. I'll link her below. You are based in Hertfordshire, North London, like those kind of areas. You might want to travel and try some of these people out. So I went to a girl called Claire for my facial and I was actually recommended her by a friend. So one of my really good friends, Kayla, who you guys might know on this channel, um, has been going to her for a little bit and her skin just looks gorge. So I was like... I want what she's having. I want that. So she actually recommended her to me, which I really like. I like when friends recommend people. I just think it's a way better, a more natural way of getting recommendations. And that's hopefully what this video has given you guys. These are all my genuine recommendations, people I genuinely would go to. So I booked in with her. My mum also booked in with her. And then like the night before, she randomly messaged me because she thought I had just started following her. And she's like, oh, I can do a complimentary facial. And I was like, I'm actually coming in. So I want to be completely transparent because I know some people might ask in the comments. Um, I paid the deposit, but I didn't pay the full amount for the facial. She did gift me. So it's like partly discounted. It's like gifted, uh, the whole thing. But I know some people get a little bit funny about that. And I just want to make you guys aware. I want to be honest. I've already booked in for another one though. So... That just shows how much I loved it. I've booked him for another one in five weeks time. I think she is amazing. So I'm gonna tell you everything that I had done and I'm gonna pop up footage here while I'm talking. I went for the facial that was like the derma pla planning facial with, and then it has like the Electra thingy, which is meant to reduce redness in your skin. I mean, look guys, this is my skin, which for me, I don't think my skins look better to be perfectly honest with you. And, you know, sometimes these things take, take a couple of days to kind of show the effects, but I'm really, really happy. I will pop a before and after on the page right now. My skin before just needed like some TLC, I think. It really needed a good exfoliator, a good cleanse. It needed some good um, moisture in there. So I think it just needed a little bit of TLC. But this is what I had done. So step one, she steamed my skin. So there was a huge steamer that she just put all over my skin, steamed the area. She asks you loads of questions, by the way, about your skin type, products that you're using, what maybe she would recommend, problem areas that you have. So I said this kind of area of my face, which is like around my mouth. You guys know that's where I tend to break out. Do I get a hormone hormonal skin? Like just amazing, amazing little consultation. Um, use this tool, which is an extraction tool, to kind of get rid of all the gunk that was up in my nose, in my pores, in this kind of area around my chin. It was incredible. Loved it so much. Probably super satisfying for her. Slightly gross, but was amazing. Um, and that was after the skin had been steamed, so all of my pores were opened up. Then we're on to step two. The next step that she did is the derma planning actual piece of the facial so she used kind of like an oil based sort of it wasn't really a cleanser but something like that over my skin then took this super sharp little blade and did the derma planning this is something I've wanted to have done for the longest time I love it it's just left my skin I'm trying not to touch it because she told me not to feeling so so soft and incredible I did ask her about derma planning at home. I know a lot of people use those little razors at home and if they work for you this is not in any way to shade you what the heck do I know I am not a dermatologist or an esthetician or a beautician. I don't know. But I did ask her about that. And she sort of said, mm, you have to be careful because they're not that sharp. So the tool that she used, as you guys can see, is like a proper blade. Like it's super, super sharp. 
those ones that aren't as sharp, sometimes you can actually end up moving bacteria around the face. So it might be great to start off with and then you might go elsewhere and it might just end up kind of transferring the bacteria. So she recommends going to someone to have that done. I think that's what I'm gonna do from now on. Um, I really liked it. I think it's just been so good for my skin. Three, this is the part that I paid a little bit extra for. So you can do the dermaplaning facial without this next step. But I actually had this next step. I loved this. Um, it's kind of like a little tool that she uses all over your skin. It has an electrical current and it can kill the bacteria on your skin, which would prevent future breakouts. It minimizes pores and it brightens the skin. It also reduces a bit of redness, which is something that I typically used to suffer with whenever I'd have a facial. I'd come home from the facial and my skin would be bright red and like it's very sensitive. That kind of gets rid of a bit of that redness. I just thought this was fab. This is one of my fave little bits of the facial, even though it's kind of a little bit random, I guess. And you know, you'd think, mm, what's that all about? But I really do recommend this. If I'm wondering, I had a nice little heated blanket on. I was just, the whole thing was lovely. Next step is her oat jelly mask that she just kind of put all over your face. You can say if you're claustrophobic, like I don't want it over my eyes, I don't want it over my mouth. You can totally choose. I had it all over. Um, I am claustrophobic with more with small spaces rather than things like over my face. It's so cooling, it's lovely and refreshing and cold on my skin. It kind of solidifies. And then once it has solidified, she kind of put the reclining bed back a little bit and did a neck and chest massage, which was just so nice. Like this has been one of the nicest pieces of self-care. I feel like this week, I've loved getting things done, guys. Don't want it to get twisted at all. But I've kind of just been like here, there, like, not actually enjoying the process of the treatment and obviously everyone's been super busy but this was just like one-on-one because -on -one she has a little um thing out in the garden that you go to and it was just i loved it i really really loved it and i really want to support beauticians hairdressers nail girls independent girls that have struggled this past year because maybe either they started their business post covid they're just self-employed and it's been really hard whatever the circumstances are um so yeah, I, I loved this. Um, and then it's really satisfying when she kind of peels it off as well at the end. It was just a very enjoyable experience. Um, and I did just want to kind of check in here at the end and let you guys know about it. So loved it. I'm really, really happy. You guys never know I never come on here barefaced, but I need to start doing it more often. Letting my skin breathe as well. Um, and I'm going back to her and I had a great time and a great experience. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like we've spoken about all things self-care and I did want it to be post glow up, post lockdown video, but I didn't want to sit here at the end with a full face of makeup and that kind of be it. I think for me, a lot of the treatments that I've had done this week have definitely been more of like a spiritual, like mental thing. Um, so I'm definitely up for doing another one of these again, but maybe we could do some different treatments. Maybe I could do a full face of makeup, a new outfit that style but I wanted to keep this a little bit more about how I'm feeling and I'm just feeling so much better a week later you know obviously not everybody has the disposable income to go and do all these things but if you want to save a little bit of your money and get something done like a nice manicure or a pedicure hopefully this video has given you a bit of inspo about something maybe you could potentially treat yourself to in the month yeah, all of the girls that I went to were great. All of the people that did all the treatments for me were great. Obviously, I did reference at the beginning, I had my smear test on um, earlier on in the month. And that's something that I really want to encourage any of you girls to do if you haven't yet booked it in because of lockdown. Maybe it stopped you from booking it. Let this be a reminder. Maybe if you need to book other things like an eye test or just feel like as we get older and our parents don't book things for us or remind us to do things, we can forget. And I think taking care of yourself starts with the smallest of things maybe if you're feeling overwhelmed and stressed it's good to book a massage or wh whatever your thing is for you that you know will make you feel better and good I think treat yourself and book it in hopefully you like this video sorry it was scatty again you know me I just can't help but make a scatty video I'm feeling so much better I've got my hair in I'm more myself so I actually am not going to end this video with a full face of makeup on and be like this is the before and after we're not really here for before and afters on an aesthetic level i think we're just here for before and afters on a like mental level and i'm feeling a heck of a lot better now at the end of this week than i was at the end of the other weeks before lockdowns uh, started to kind of ease up so yes hope you're all good so much love to you guys hope you enjoyed this video and i'm sure i will check in with you all very very soon 